Okay, today we are playing a game on Dorado. We are playing mostly D.Va and about 30 seconds of Zenyatta at the end of the game, and the average SR of this game was 2,205. And our current team composition is D.Va, Winston, Soldier, Reaper, Mercy, and Lucio. So, wholly unremarkable in every way. This is still Season 5, by the way, uh, so Junkrat isn't a hero yet. If you want to imagine what this would look like in Season 6, just imagine both teams have a Junkrat now. Um, yeah, so, in the email, it says, this is a bit of an unusual one. Uh, the people I played with paid me the extraordinary, if implicit, compliment that, though with another person they could not beat a given six stack with me, they could. Though perhaps it is an exercise in ego stroking, could you explain what I do right in this VOD and why it is right? Of course, corrections on mistakes is still welcome. This is, of course, difficult for me because I'm an incredibly negative person, naturally, but we'll do our best. So let's start the game. As you can see, this is not a terribly long game, and as the email may have given it away, we win. We also have the sound muted, because Jesus Christ, these people never stop talking. It's just constant noise from these people. So, we're defending, we're sitting up here, on the high ground, shooting at them, and uh, blocking occasional stuff. None of the projectiles coming at us are terribly scary, so it doesn't really matter that much. And all we really want to do during this phase is build ult charge really, but then Winston decides that he's going to go in and start fighting out here, which he's not really allowed to do. And we're just sitting back here shooting at people like, we're still here, you know, we're doing damage, but we haven't dived in balls deep with the Winston, who is uh, currently still going very much further than he's allowed to go. And we are not going in... Like, he's still over there, and remarkably, he gets away with it for a very, very long time, actually. Because their team doesn't actually do very much damage. Because they're... The two DPS... DPS heroes they have right now is they have a Soldier and they have a Sombra. So Winston gets to go in there and just do this for a while. We're a little bit more hesitant to do it, because there's a Zarya there, who of course fucks up Diva's, Diva's day right proper. Um, also, like, during some of the fighting, we are, we do the thing where you, like, put the defense matrix over people you can't block, which is just a natural panic reaction, you know, like, oh, I'm taking damage, I don't want to take damage anymore. N not good, especially seeing as Diva's defense matrix is about to get ultra nerfed, so some discipline with it is, uh, required. So Winston's still over there. We're really hesitant to go over there and fight. We can go over there and fight like a little bit more aggressively because their team is such low damage overall. But, you know, we're sitting over here. We're shooting people. We're doing damage. We're trying to put our defense matrix over the Winston. We can't even really block that many projectiles on their team, so it doesn't really get that much done. The, what really carries us through this game is just that their team can do, does such little DPS that we kind of just get away with a lot. And, uh, we never actually die in this entire game. So we've heard Tac Visor right now, by the way, which is why we've immediately pivoted around this way as quickly as possible. Because we also saw him go into the doorway on the right, so. He didn't come back out, so logically he's coming back around this way, so we hung around and came back up here for him. And we stop him from doing anything with it, really, because we get up here and he can't just run through us anymore. And we don't block at all, but we're in his way, so he doesn't get to try and do anything with it. And then we stay over here and fight him. And we do feed him a lot of ult charge doing this, but we're also feeding our Mercy ult charge as well, because she's healing up all this damage that Soldier's doing to us. And we're getting some charge off of him as well. Also, don't forget, Soldier's the only actual DPS hero on their team, because the other one is Sombra, who, as we know, is more of a support than she is a DPS. So, we're actually occupying their only DPS hero right now, so our team is actually just, like, killing them over there, and there's nothing they can really do about it, because we're distracting their only DPS, and he didn't get to do anything with his ultimate either. And then we push him over the edge, we're done with him now, we feed him to the sharks, and he's dead. Here comes, uh, nano-boosted Reinhardt, most of his team is dead, we just use our ultimate right there, basically to try and stop him, it looks like. Though we could have thrown that in, like, sooner, really, to try and stop him, if that's what we're going with. Because he's walking around nano-boosted right now. We also dump it somewhere that's not terribly inconvenient, because they're, for them, that is. 
because there's a lot of places that they can hide out of the way. At the same time, though, Mercy's got her ult. Mercy just got pinned. She's already ulted, so who cares, you know? So, now they have, they, as you can see, enemy team not exactly tearing it up in the DPS front, and that gets us through quite a bit of this game. Uh, you know, blocking damage. We're gonna hold the payload out here for a while, for a while now. We are doing some feeding of, uh, soldier ult charge, but we're also feeding our healers at the same time, so, you know, it's a two-way street. So, Sombra used her Emp, and we've now all been pulled into the Graviton, and that feels really bad, but fortunately, they have nothing to combo it with. So, it actually doesn't matter, because, eh, why would it? So, Soldier's using Tac Visor over here. Unfortunately, we don't have very much Nano Boost uh, Defense Matrix to use. Just try and get, like, in the dude's face if you're gonna run out of Nano... If you run out of Nano Boost, if you're gonna run out of Defense Matrix, just, like, get in the dude's face. Because even though you can't block with Defense Matrix anymore, you can still block him with your body. Um, which is why it's usually best to just, if you see a soldier attack visoring off in the distance, you just like float up into his face, because even if you run out, like you block with your body at that point. So we have, again, blocked out the majority of his ultimate, and he didn't really get anything done with it, so that's good. We got pinned, but it's not the end of the world, because we're D.Va, so he doesn't even break our mech, because we've got that much HP. And now we're getting into like a really awkward scuffle in this little room over here. Their diva has, their mercy rather, has just completely fucked off and left Reinhardt to his own devices in here. And oh god, we're trying really hard to stop him from killing mercy, but we don't actually have any CC, so it's kind of hard. Uh, he gets revived, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he gets resed in here. So we just dump the, uh, the ult right there in front of him, and that, it doesn't seem like that great of an idea, because it's in the closet out of the way. Reinhardt is gonna have to block that. He, at the very least, can't come out here and actually regroup with his team after getting rezzed. And he might also just block it with his shield, which will fully break his shield as well. So, it really kills the momentum on the res, because then suddenly, oh, the person I res can't actually come out and fight with me anymore. And so, by the time he's gotten back out here again, half of his team is already dead. They do now have a Mei, which really fucks our day up, but their DPS is still quite lacking. If anything, you can argue it's gone down, because their uh, soldiers also changed to McCree. So, you can argue which of those two DPS is better. I think McCree is better, but he does do less sustained damage than uh, Soldier does. So, anyway, now, Reinhardt's dead, not very much happened, May is, like, over here, inconveniencing us terribly, but, because we basically have super taunted the May in this game, because she basically only tries to fuck with us the entire time, and while, yeah, that's really inconvenient, she doesn't actually get anything done, because she can't kill us by herself, and the rest of her team don't do that much damage. I lied to you, they still have the soldier. So somebody else changed to McCree on their team. Um, who else did they have? I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, it must be their Zarya. Yeah, it must be their Zarya that changed. You pushed tab right there, didn't you? Hold on. Who changed? Who changed? Do you not push tab? Am I crazy? No. So who changed? No, their McCree, their McCree has just changed as well. Okay, all right, whatever. Just constant switching. So we took the pin, not that terrible for us. You'll also notice their May completely wasted the blizzard as well, chucking it in before her and before anyone on her team was actually there. So didn't get anything done with that one. Nano boosted Zarya, not very scary, especially when she doesn't have charge. She has some charge now, but now she's dead. May, terribly inconvenient. Oh my god, just here forever. Blah blah blah. Oh god, make Freezing us constantly. It's very annoying. We're now baby diva, so we're backing up out of the way. We're still like a little bit close, but we're out of the way of the fight, so we can just shoot into all these people and build up charge so we can get a new mech. Mercy's going in over there, rezzing them. We got our mech back again. So we've respawned really quickly, and now we get to just start fighting again. And they they don't get it past this checkpoint, as I'm sure you'll not be surprised to find out. They just kind of kind of can't really kill anyone still, as you'll have noticed. Like not very many people on our team have died overall, and we've never died at any point. 
Uh, we've lost our mech a couple times, but we've never actually died. And then May's thrown in another blizzard, but it's already too late. So now, this is the ram we play Zenyatta on, but like, come on, like, you know, it, nothing really happens, honestly. We go to the moon at one point, and that's like the only remarkable thing that happens. Um, so, the, the big thing that happened last round was just that we never died. So, we lost our mech a couple times. Well, actually, we ulted a couple times. Our mech never got broken except for right at the end, did it? So basically, we had a constant presence at the front line the entire round, which is sort of the point of D.Va. As long as you, if you get, as long as you can just replace your mech instead of dying, you're basically always there. So then your presence is always there. And, I mean, it seems so benign to say, but, like, not dying is a very big thing, especially when you're playing a tank. So here's where we go to the moon. We're up here now. And, uh, we jump down. I would have stayed up there because, goddamn, how often does a Zenyatta get to go up there? Not very often. But they're all dead. So, <laughs> not, you know, not very much happens right here, as you can see. Oh, uh, yeah, here comes Reinhardt. Oh, no, he's all by himself. Oh, he's... Probably should have changed over to the Mercy, but she was getting bullied by, like, our entire team, so it wasn't very much of an issue. So, unsurprisingly, they didn't defend that area, and we won the game pretty easy. Um, so, since you were specifically asking for things you did well and why they were good, well, we didn't die, which is really good, which is obviously a good thing. And we're playing D.Va, so we're playing a tank, so we're meant to have as big of an influence as possible. So if you never die as D.Va, and you're just always there, you get back in your mech really quickly, or just don't use, lose your mech even, your presence is always there, you're playing a tank, the t point of being a tank is having a big presence, so if you're just always there, that's a pretty big thing. We just kill streak 14, easy money. So, n even though it seems so benign to say not dying is, like, really good, especially as a tank. And then the other thing is, um, we didn't really let Soldier have any fun. Um, he didn't use his tack visors that well anyway, but we also got over there and, like, got in his way while he was doing it as well. We didn't block all of it, but, like, we made it inconvenient for him and he never got anybody killed with his ultimate. And then we, uh... There was the one point where we just, like, distracted him while the rest of our team killed the rest of his team. Because even though Mercy and us were up there, they just didn't have a DPS hero anymore. So our team just got to, like, roll over them for free because they didn't have anything. So the other thing is making Soldier's life quite difficult. That was the other thing. Though... The thing that really carried us through this game was the enemy team's comp was unbelievably terrible, and they didn't actually know how to execute it correctly anyway. Well, their, their comp wasn't terrible, but it wasn't fantastic. They had a Zarya and the Emp, but then they didn't have anything to actually combo that with, so it didn't really amount to much. Their Sombra wasn't actually any good at Sombra, which is not very surprising. Sombra's a very hard hero to play. So their only DPS hero was Soldier, who doesn't benefit from the Graviton anyway, really. So their team comp was terrible, and they didn't execute it correctly either. So that really helped us, but hopefully that answers your question. And uh, that was it, right? Yep, that was it. So Thank you very much for watching, if you did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer, and hope you found the video helpful, even though it was kind of short and kind of, you know, easy peasy.